Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, on today's video, video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure sub-interfaces on a Cisco router. Um, so, usually in, in every production network, you will see sub-interfaces being created because um, no network is just one flat network. <clears throat> we have multiple VLANs on every network, um, so sub-interface is a very handy feature that's being used heavily everywhere. So, in this topology as well, um, we have this PC on VLAN 1, this PC on VLAN 2, and this PC on VLAN 3. Um, you can also notice that the network, all of them are on are different networks. Um, so in this case, either we need, uh, so suppose <coughs> the only way to communicate in this kind of network is either you're going to have an, uh, a router with multiple ports, but in our case, this 94, uh, 1941 router, which is heavily used in small uh, offices, they only have two ports. So we got to have a logical interface so that we can do communication between them. Um, so let's see how that is done. <clears throat> so this is the gigabit 0 slash 1 interface that's been connected with the switch. Let's verify it. Show IP interface. So we only have two gigabit ports as you can see. These two. Uh, so suppose in the gigabit 0... Uh, <clears throat> so, so let's suppose configure terminal. Configure terminal, gigabit ethernet interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 on this we have this IP address 192.168.1.12 so IP address 192.168.1.12.255.255.255.0 no shutdown so suppose on this interface we have this IP address for our VLAN 1 but now we have two more VLANs to create. So how are we going to do that? So for that, there's a very good feature uh, creating sub-interfaces. Let's see how we do that. Configure terminal. We go to the interface 0 slash 1 um, and then to create sub-interface, all you have to do is dot 2 for VLAN 2. Boom. And here you see, change state to up. So we have another virtual interface. Let's, end, let's verify it, and here it is, it's up and up. And one more thing guys, sub-interfaces you don't have to do no shut because it's automatically up because it's a virtual interface. So let's assign an IP address to interface so that we can have a VLAN to communication. Config T, interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 dot 2, IP address, but let's see what, let's see what happens. Uh, IP address. 10.1.1.1.255.255.255.0 it won't allow it because it, it doesn't know how to tag VLAN packets from coming from VLAN 2 so for that we have to um, we have to let this interface know that which encapsulation is going to use so in this case we're going to use encapsulation dot one q and VLAN tag form 2 so everything all the packets that are tagged to VLAN 2 will be tagged uh, will be tagged on this particular interface so now when we assign an IP address, it will take it 10.1.1.1.255.255.255.0. See, it took it. So end. Let's verify. Oh, show IP interface brief. And here it is. It's up. So now, if you go back to the, uh, the original topology, this is the computer that's on, um, that has the IP address of the 10 network. I think I have not assigned uh, the interface to VLAN 2. Let's do that real quick. Uh, exit out. Interface. Fast Ethernet. 0 slash 2. Oh, uh, switch port access. VLAN 2. I don't think it's created. Yes, it's created. And this out. Show VLAN. And it is there. Perfect. And then similarly, we have to create uh, trunking encapsulation on the uplink port. Config T interface kick be then zero slash one encapsulation switch port mode trunk sorry switch port switch port switch port trunk encapsulation dot IQ switch port mode trunk it's up now so now when we ping from this interface which is on VLAN 2 to this router to the uh, to the virtual interface of this virtual interface it should respond back let's verify it 
go to command prompt and then ping. 10.1.1.1 There it is. So we're getting reply packets. So that verifies that our sub interface is working as well as our VLAN configuration has worked. So guys, <coughs> I hope this has been informative for you uh, and thank you very much.